as you guys know, uh, we've been we are facing delays from Certic, and this is completely out of our hands. We did want to see your opinion whether we should launch uh, next week or we should just wait for Certic. Uh, and 90% of you voted that we should wait for Certic, which is the decision that we want because, well, that we, we supported because we obviously want the majority, of the maximums, like safety of the contracts and making sure everything's running well. So uh, that's what we're going with. Now there's some frustration in some of the members uh, saying that obviously Certic could take longer. We personally believe it's gonna take less than two weeks uh to finalize everything but you know um people make mistakes and sometimes there's delays and that's something out of our control so what we thought about as a team and after reading some of your comments some of your uh suggestions that people brought up some good points they brought up uh what we will be doing and this is going to be an announcement that further explains this a little bit long uh a little bit more so what we're going to do is we're going to open open refunds uh, next week. And then we're also going to allow people who who leave the ecosystem, like who get the refund to re-enter at 250 when we have a launch date. This is only this will only happen if the launch is later than July 20th. So if the launch is later than July 20th, then we will do we will offer this this to the people who need it that they can get out. They can get a refund if they want. And if they want uh, later on when we actually have the launch date, which we think it's going to be less um, before the end of the month, uh, you guys can come back in and repurchase your yield boxes. You will not be able to purchase more yield boxes than the original amount that you purchased during pre-sale. So if you bought 10 during pre-sale, you can only buy back 10. Um, if you didn't buy any during pre-sale, you will not be able to buy during this time, obviously, this is not a pre-sale. This is just a re-entry period. The re-entry period will end the day before launch. Uh, so you have to make sure that you have that you came back and you purchase your yield boxes again. If not, unfortunately, there's nothing we really can do. So this is contract based. Once it's done, it's done. And we cannot honor 250 anymore. So we're just going to open it up for people who really want it and who people want to get out, who think this delay is more than they can handle. If you wanna stay, uh, which I believe majority of you will, that's completely fine. Uh, everything's safe, your money's there, and we'll keep updating the community as, as CERTIC gives us more information as we have a launch date and all this stuff. So it's just giving flexibility to all legendary key holders who participated in the pre-sale to really choose what they wanna do with, with their money. Um, as we always believe that your money is your money and that's it. So, that's what we have for that. Again, there will be an announcement after this AMA that will explain this a little bit further, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, so the we will, I believe we are gonna open the refunds next Friday, and then a couple of days later, we'll open the re-entries, but it'll end a day before launch. And we'll obviously be making announcements to let people know. Again, if you don't wanna miss that, don't don't get out. That's the easiest way to put it. We just want to offer as much flexibility to you guys uh, with your money and everything. So we know that right now the market's not the best conditions. So we really just want to be accommodating to as many people as we can. No, there'll be no claiming period. There's still, the claiming period will be at launch when all the contracts are integrated, everything's running, and, and that will be the claiming period. Yield boxes have always made, uh, and will always make 30 Valley. So the three day claiming period is just getting a head start from everybody else, but it, it wasn't gonna generate you three days extra of, of rewards. Like, I don't know if that's understood. I think we have an update on Valley Flip, and I think Chim can update us on that. Yeah, it's back. Uh, it's back up. There's a live chat feature, which is really cool. Um, there's a few UI improvements as well. It looks really good, and uh, yeah, um, let's get those DJs 
Um, <laughs> flipping it. <laughs> flipping. <laughs> yeah, Valley Flip is looking very, very nice. It's so much more intuitive. It's looking um, just very clean, very beautiful. Uh, There's more things coming as well. There's like um, a couple of improvements. I don't know whether we should keep them as a surprise or you want to maybe make a hint. At... <laughs> uh, like leaderboards and such? <laughs> yeah. 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 So a couple of cool things coming to that. Yeah. 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 So it's going to be. Um... It's going to be more upgrades as we go along, but right now uh, it's looking very, very nice. And I think we can start doing marketing on it now that it's looking so pretty and it's so, so much better. Um, so that's what we'll get started on that. Uh, it's on the AMA live chat if you want to put your questions there, if you don't feel like coming up and talking. Um, Sadim, do we have the numbers for the for the investments? Yes, I'm not currently near my computer, but yes, we have right around four hundred and fifty dollars actual profits. Um, so that is right around three. If I if I'm not mistaken, that was around four point two percent actual profits and increase on our ten. Yeah, and that was only in in four days, so like almost one percent per day. Because Monday was, there was no trading. Yes, uh, so the trading only counts as uh, Monday through Fridays. Saturdays and Sundays, no. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's really good news. Uh, we can publish those numbers uh, later in the announcements. The exact numbers so you guys can all see. But the, the investment is going pretty well. And I think we will do a proposal to increase the amount of money invested in there uh, just a little bit more uh, to get more yield. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, whether you get the early, whether you get the early claiming period or not, your yield boxes will still generate uh, 30 days of, I mean, uh, sorry, 30 valley throughout its lifetime. So it, the advantage was just in earlier days, but yeah, I won't give you like three, uh, 30.3 value, if that makes sense. Because of the lifetime, it's 30 value. That's it. Man, this is the this project and the team is by far the best in DeFi. They have always listened to the community and kept our interest in our hearts and done the best for all of us. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not if I go, man. That's what we're here for. You know, we, we listen to you guys. We, we want to be as accommodating. We know that times are not very good right now with the market and everything and the economy as a whole. So we just want to, you know, help you out as much as we can. That's what we're focusing on and listening to you guys and understanding your point of view and just approaching everything like that. Uh, Chimp, do we have a, an update on prediction game? Yes, sir. Uh, it's going to be uh, in two or three days. We should be able to test it on, on testnet. Um, yeah, that's coming soon. Uh, it's pretty much implemented. It just needs a deployment on testnet, like a brand new contract on testnet and connecting the oracles and everything and should, uh, should be able to test it in a few days. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, um, do we have an estimate from Certic? So we don't have an estimate right now. Uh, we are expecting that before next Friday, by like early next week, we should have like the day that they're going to give us the, the report back. But again, uh, it's really, it's really annoying. We're very frustrated with them right now that it's taking so long and it's, it, they're not giving us any information. There's no updates. It's just they, they don't have anything uh, right now. We are, we are thinking also of just uh, maybe potentially using another auditing company. So if they don't answer, we're just going to go <laughs> with another one that the community likes. Uh, 
So it's just they, they just don't have an update for us. They say we don't have an update for you guys. Sorry. Right now we don't have an update. I don't know if they're very understaffed. Maybe they are. There's a lot of crypto projects right now trying to get audited and stuff. So that could be it. I, I really don't know. I don't know what's the holdup. And this is a fairly complex contract I would like to mention. SPA and the Valley token are very, very complex. There's a lot of checks to make sure that we we maintain the price table and so many systems and all that stuff. So Let's just let's just wait and see. But again, we are opening this uh, this refund and re-entry for you guys, so you you know. <laughs> Anyone have a good lawyer? They can get they can get in contact with Certic on behalf of Alpha and put a little skip in the line. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, we can bribe them. Yeah, maybe we can bribe them. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> He's gonna go bully them. <laughs> Guys, please, let's not. <laughs> but yeah, again, so just to recap, you will be able by next Friday uh, to get a refund. And then we're gonna have a re entry period where you can repurchase your yield boxes at 250. That's if you choose. Uh, you know, we hope to have the project out within a week and a half uh if that doesn't happen then you know we'll, we'll hopefully pray that it's less than less than the next month so by the end of this month we should be launched i'm pretty sure i'm not i'm gonna say it's not gonna take um more than a couple of weeks because i don't i don't think it will Yeah, so the, the contract with SPA is, is separated uh, from, there's a lot of moving parts in that contract, so it's multiple things. Uh, but yeah, we, we, can, we can market it uh, in the future. That's what we plan on doing, using it as a service since we already invested this money on it and you know we're getting it audited and all this. But yeah, we want to make it two other protocols. And it'll just be easier because uh, other protocols will not have to build their own DEX or exchange. So it will just be on Trader Joe, you know, depending on the protocol. So it also brings this um, this advantage over other systems that you don't need to use your own DEX and you don't need to build it on your platform because that obviously costs more money for the project implementing the, the SPA. Plus it's more decentralized. Yeah, it's more decentralized and people love that. Yeah, we, we, we believe that for now it's going to be 40 to $45, yes, with the potential to increase it over time. But for now, that's, that's what we're keeping it at. But yeah, things are looking good. Um, you know, we're ready and we're just waiting for Certic and we're going to get more updates on that uh, very soon. Hopefully next week, early next week, we'll get the day. And if not, on Friday, we, we will open the refunds and you guys will be able to get your refunds and get back in when we actually have a launch date. We don't want to keep anyone hostage here. Um, so we thank you for believing in us and, you know, being here this long. Uh, Uh, what would the fee be for SPA for other protocols? I'm sure we're going to be a tough competition for Horde Liquidity Manager. Um, I'm not sure about the fees right now. We haven't really dabbled into it. We know we want to make it accessible to other protocols, but we don't have an actual figure right now. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a more decentralized yeah, we'll prove it, and then it's going to be a more decentralized solution for protocols. It also is going to help them save money on not developing a swap. So 
we will I just want you guys to know that we we even though we call it spa we we actually have a contract that does liquidity management like that's inside spa already just just common just um fun facts <laughs> So yeah, we'll be posting that announcement that further explains the refund and reclaiming period um, after this AMA. That should be up a couple seconds after. And then the recording for this AMA will be posted on YouTube right after. Will SPA be able to take a price of a token and increase it over time? SPA really, um, it could. But it also depends on on volume, on the volume of the of the trades going on, like how much volume they're moving per day and stuff like that. So it's it's really it's not something that you can just grab and put it on everywhere. It's something that you really have to tailor to each protocol because there's some variables that you need to move around. So if you refund right now, um, next week, uh, if we open, if we don't launch before the 20th, if you refund, you can get back in at 250. But just the number, so if you bought five yield boxes during pre-sale, uh, the re-entry period would allow you to buy five yield boxes again at 250. But you will not you will not be able to purchase more yield boxes than what you already purchased in pre-sale. This is not. I want people to understand that this is not a reopening of of pre-sale. This is just for the people who already purchased yield boxes and want their money back, and they want to also get back in again after some time. Will we get an alpha on companies that use SPA for their project? Assuming SPA does well, we could benefit from joining other projects that use our tech. Yeah, absolutely. That's something we can talk to the, to the team about. Any strategies on marketing? Just curious what we want to expect. Yeah, so uh, when we get closer to launch, uh, when we have a launch date, uh, we're going to start doing videos again with big influencers and promoting more and for our services as soon as they're ready and they're out we are going to start doing uh, more more marketing for them because that's really how balify makes money our our focus has always been more about services than the people we have uh coming in because, you know, we want to stay away from Ponzi and stuff like that. So uh, really our focus on marketing will be about our services. To generate more income for Balfi. How much of a heads up will we, will we be given to buy back in? Uh, so it's just going to be a couple days after the refund opens that 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 re-entry period will open but it will close one day before launch so if we launch on the 20th on the 19th is the last day to get in uh liquid capital no i'm not i haven't heard of that project if you want uh max if you want send me a dm or p12 sorry If you have one yield box and claim at day 290, by day 300, you'll have one value accumulated. Day 301, your yield box will be expired. Could you still claim that one value on day 301? Yes, I believe that's how it's coded, yes. 
you don't lose your rewards even after the yield box disappears. Love the income from services, utility is key, love your vision. Yes, sir, that's, that's literally what we're trying to build here. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, Vish, are we gonna, when is the marketplace and that's going to be ready for V2s? Um, I believe by Monday that should be fully working. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So by Monday we should be able to trade V2s and you can sell them on the market or buy them and that's it. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, guys, I think that pretty much concludes all the announcements that we had to make. Again, we're really trying to do things differently here, trying to set a new standard for DeFi and just give our investors who believed in us for a very long time the flexibility that they deserved in these times that when, when things are out of our hands, out of our control. Um, so that's, that's what we're doing here. We'll post the announcement that explains everything a little bit more. So you guys can uh, so you guys can read a little bit more and understand it. Uh, yeah, we just want to thank you guys for being here. Thank you for your patience and understanding. I know these times have been a little bit frustrating. We're very frustrated too. Don't don't think <laughs> that we're doing this on purpose. We we really just want to launch, but we want to do we want to do what's right uh, for the protocol and what's right. Um, for everyone here, basically. Uh, P12, you can, you can send me that on, I sent you a friend request, so you can send it to me on, on private chat, on DMs. But yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Thank you guys. Um, we'll keep you guys updated. If we have any news or anything like that, we'll keep you updated. And I guess we'll see you next AMA on